AMS 2140, negative averaging when machine is running. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate negative averaging, also called bump testing, on a machine that is running using the AMS 2140. In a separate tutorial, I will demonstrate the same technique on a machine that is not running. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. I'm going to show you how to collect data to determine the natural frequency of a machine that is running. This is called negative averaging, or sometimes a bump test. Before we use the AMS 2140, let's take a look at how the technique works. Negative averaging is a two-step process. First, while the machine is running, you impact or strike the machine repeatedly to create and measure two frequencies. One will be the normal operating frequency, including things like imbalance, misalignment, looseness, and more. The second measurement will be the natural frequencies caused by the impact. In this screenshot, you see the results of step one. Some of the peaks are related to normal operation and some to impacting, but you don't know which one is which at this point. The AMS 2140 will have you do 12 averages before guiding you to the next step. In step two, you will not continue striking the machine. Without the impacting, the peaks you see now are associated only with normal operation frequencies. The analyzer will compare and subtract the results of the two images from each other, creating a third image you see here. In this spectrum, only the natural frequencies are still shown. Let's look at how to configure negative averaging on the AMS 2140. From the home screen, select F7 Advanced Analyze then F7, More Experts. Select F3 Bump Test Equipment Running. You'll see some instructions on how to proceed. For this tutorial, we are using a motor to create data. I will now turn on the motor and start impacting with a rubber hammer. After 12 averages, the data collection stops. I will press Enter to start step 2, but I will not strike the motor. As you watch the data being collected, you can see that there are peaks slowly disappearing from the image. Continue watching until you see the image stabilize. In this example, you can see the peaks are more or less gone, so you can stop data collection. Press Enter to review the data. Here you see the spectrum and install a cursor if you wish. Notice there are two important peaks, one natural frequency around 14 Hz and another around 37 Hz. You can store this data using F9 Store Data and it will be saved in job mode. This tutorial was based on a template in the AMS 2140 and will work for many applications. If you wish to customize the settings, go to F1 Setup menu and change various parameters, such as the Fmax or number of averages. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS2140. Thank you for watching.